y'all. We're about to react to something new, different. This is a uh, Chilling Scares Eight Most Dan. I said dangerous. Eight most disturbing things caught on doorbell camera. I hope this don't scare me. I, I don't get scared easily, but I really hope this does not scare me, y'all. But before we get into this video, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, tell a friend about me, man. Leave some comments down below if y'all want to see a certain video. I was asked to react to this, so I'm doing it. And uh, <clears throat> like I said. If y'all want to see something specific, just leave it in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. It's free. It's not costing you nothing. So help us us out. Let's get into it. This footage was captured in Flint, Michigan on April 24th, 2023. The house had two ring cameras, one above the garage, and the this other was a like ring doorbell spooky, camera. Around 10 p.m., a man in a red jacket and another person just behind him are shown walking up to the house's front door. Before knocking or ringing the doorbell, the man in the jacket immediately starts trying to break down the door. What the hell? The ring camera falls to the Jeez. ground from the impacts, but the door itself doesn't budge. Why is this man doing that? After it? those few seconds, the man walks around to the house's side door and again immediately starts trying to break it down. By this point, the homeowner had woken up in a panic and was checking their camera's feed for an explanation. The other guy just keep him watching. He ain't doing shit. on the ground, and so they switched over to their other camera. The other guy, the banging like... noise rang out throughout the house. They could now see what was causing it. This man, he ain't got no mask on. The other nigga do. Oh my God! What in the hell? Homeowner's voice coming over the speaker was enough to scare the two men off. Police were They're called. Like, all right, let's property. get up out of here, man. When they reviewed the footage, they noted that one of the men was armed. Yeah, he what was. What these two men planned to do with the people inside, if they had successfully broken in, is unknown. It's unclear if they were ever identified by police. They should have been. That dude, everything you got no damn mask on. The man, face exposed like shit. Luffy joins the fight. He didn't care if he Whatever got caught. Shit, do, nigga just came. Do it for less at Harbor Freight. Quality tools, lowest prices. This clip was captured at three in the morning on April 9th, twenty twenty-three. It happened in Albuquerque, New Mexico. What the, the hell? The homeowner was sleeping when the clip was recorded. It wasn't until he woke up and saw a notification on his phone that he found out about. Looked like that nigga got beat up or something. He reviewed the footage, horrified. This is what he saw. A woman is shown trying multiple different keys to get into the house and even looking around for a hidden one. What in the hell? How did she know what a hidden key was? This is disturbing. This is weird. The fuck? And that that don't even look like a key. It look like a damn revolver. The homeowner claimed that he had never seen this woman before. He said that she later started throwing rocks at his car and trying those locks. What the it's hell? likely she was under the influence of something. Multiple times she tries to insert keys into the doorbell camera look, itself. Look, I feel like she's tweaking. After a few minutes, she walks off and was never seen on the property again. Her intentions are unknown. It didn't look like she fell and fucked her nose up. Walter Hickox is a homeowner in Daytona Beach, Florida. His home is set out in a wooded section of the city. In January of 2022, Walter was taking his three dogs out onto the porch when he noticed one of them intently looking at something outside. The dogs suddenly start running he to got, the left side ooh. of the camera. And that's when Walter realizes they were looking at a black bear. He has three freaking winter dogs. The bear dogs. climbs over a protective railing as it goes for the dogs. You trying to stop it? Ooh. 
With barely any time to process what he was seeing, Walter lunges at the bear as it goes for his dogs. He That's manages scary. to push it back before he shoves a nearby chair in the doorway, preventing it from attacking again. He yells out that he was attacked by a bear as he brings his dogs back inside. That's scary, yo. When I had time to just sit and just stare, it all hit me and I started bawling. I couldn't believe how close to death I was and I did it for my dog. Yeah, he Walter pushed the hell out of that goddamn bear. bear. His dogs didn't receive any injuries. I bet you they didn't. Walter put his life uh, uh, this homeowner in Texas at risk for the goddamn dog. Door dash delivery around 1.20 in the morning. Only the homeowner had an order door dash. She was sleeping. It was only her and her nephew in the home at the time. She remembers waking up to a metal clinking sound, but didn't think much of it until she noticed damage to the outside of her house the next morning. What the hell? This caused her to look back at her cameras, both the footage from her doorbell camera and the one she had set up in her backyard. This is what she saw. Don't tell me the girl back there. What kind of dasher is wearing booty shorts, man? <laughs> Goddamn dasher look like a hoe. Door dash. Come on, door dash. Whoa. Setting her up. The first video isn't as concerning. A woman standing at the door, claiming to be with a door dash uh, from 1 20 a.m. to 2 a.m. And then if that lady would have This could be written door, off as a determined to live driver up in that there. unknowingly had the wrong address. But it was the backyard footage that was genuinely concerning. At 2 a.m., four men got into the backyard and tried to gain entry into the home through a window. It's likely they planned on entering through the front door by ambushing the person that opened it for the DoorDash delivery. Yep, that's what I just said. But when no one answered, they resorted to trying the backyard while the fake DoorDash deliverer yeah. stayed out front as a distraction. All girls with them. However, fortunately, the men would be unsuccessful and are shown running away from the house on the backyard camera. The four men and the woman at the front door were all seen leaving the area together in a dark colored yep, sedan. I knew it. They were never caught by police. She ain't like a door dasher, ain't got no food up in that bag, probably. Multiple homes in Chicago got a visit from a man claiming to be an investigator known as Jeff Rushmore. The only problem is that man doesn't exist. He was impersonating the an hell? investigator with the local police department, fully equipped with a fake uniform, a fake badge, and fake police radio chatter. This ring camera caught him performing the act. Oh, damn, this man's a weirdo. Can you open the door? Can you open the door? Yeah, that man's sick, yo. First off, he wouldn't be by by himself. Like that's just common sense. What the hell he got that's making that? Probably his phone. Let me go over there and play the YouTube video. The homeowner huh. doesn't answer. This, the door. this individual is not answering stays in character, even faking a call back reporting the unresponsive homeowner. Another home in the area equipped with a ring doorbell camera shows the same man. This time the homeowner does open the door. Oh, what do you do? I hope he didn't do nothing to the person. I'm scared too. What the hell gonna happen? Hi, uh, sorry to bother you so late. Uh, Rushmore with the Winfield Police Department. I'm an investigator. When your neighbor is down the street, reported a missing. The video cuts out there. The man explains a missing person case, and when the homeowner says he doesn't know anything about it, the interaction ends. The motives behind him impersonating an investigator are unknown. I'm confused. Often there are cases like this where the man is simply trying to get people to open their door thinking they're safe, but proceed to rob them, or sometimes worse. That's what I thought he was about to do to However, him. he doesn't do this. No one knows his motives. One commenter said, 
I honestly believe he was testing the waters, and as he felt more confident, he would have escalated from getting people to open their door, to entering into people's homes, to only God knows what next. Yeah, probably. According to recent but documents, you think he would try to, was never identified. You think he would try to bust up in there just, just from them opening their door? You would this think. This is my comeback. Start yours at PurdueGlobal.edu. First off, I wouldn't open my door. Like I said, I would know, like, investigate. Three skincare essentials. Is it going to come by itself? One dermatologist like, design starter pairs. set. Curology. It would be now crazy to come by itself. This video was captured in Kansas City. The doorbell footage shows a man appearing on the left side of the screen and climbing on the guardrail. Ooh. He was trying to stay out of frame as he attempted to take the ring camera off of the home. Oh, Inside you can the home see those was a woman cameras? and her son. The man was the woman's ex-boyfriend. He failed to remove the camera, so he left, but returned 30 minutes later. This time, he had a cloth to cover the camera. Oh, yeah, see, so he knew where it was. This nigga weirdo. She probably didn't dump him, and he just, he ain't taking no for an answer. He was like, I need you. Look at him. Damn near about to break her stairs and shit. Crazy. Three minutes later, the homeowner's son ran into her room, frantic, telling her their car was on fire. Police and firefighters were called to the scene. What the hell? Right before the fire destroyed their car and most of their home. Marianne, an expert in abusive relationships, responded with, Abusive relationships are about power and control. Wow. And when that power and control is taken away or it's minimized, then what we see is those efforts are escalated to try and get them back. Police are That's currently crazy, looking yo. for the homeowner's ex-boyfriend seen in the video. That's crazy that he did that. What a kid in there. This happened in April of 2023 in a wooded section of Asheville, North Carolina. The homeowner of this house got a notification saying motion was detected in her front door. It's three bears or was that two? She opened the app on her phone and saw three bears on her front Sheesh. porch. That's probably a mom, they were a dad, over a package that had recently and a been baby. Delivered. Inside the package was dog food, which they easily would have been able to smell. The homeowner opened her door and confronted the animals, trying to scare them off. Hell, I wouldn't have did that. What the fuck? The homeowner crazy. They, they would have been. They would have just had to take that shit. I would have had to call Amazon. And be like, oh uh, yeah, I never got my package of dog food yesterday. It says that it was delivered, but uh, I didn't get you. Yeah, I live in the middle of the forest. I'm gonna need y'all to send it again. Thank you. No, no. No, she crazy. She like, I need that no. dog food. No. No. Damn, they took it. No. The bears take one of the two bags of dog food inside the package. They're seen on the right side of the screen with the bag in their mouth as they walk off. Mm -mm -mm. She got the other one though. This footage was captured at night just before 2 a.m. It shows a man ringing the doorbell to this home in Rochester, New York. Immediately after, he hides behind a parked car. He's seen crouched down, holding some kind of club in his hand, breathing heavily and sweating profusely. Yeah, he is sweating like crazy. He nervously looks back and forth from out of the street to back at the house's front door. Looking like he owns something. Don't tell me it's another ex-boyfriend. This nigga's wild, yo. Oh, can you hear stuff on the rain camera too? Or is it just a uh, video? Leave a comment down below if y'all know about rain cameras. Look at this bald head nigga. The man clearly looks to be on something. Mm -hmm. When he realizes no one was going to answer the door, he walks away. Another minute passes when a voice yells out that the police are on their way. Why did that person... It's I want to stick my dog out on him. There are two main possibilities here. Either this man was hiding from someone for one reason or another and he was trying to get inside a house so that he wouldn't be found, the voice being the person he was hiding from. 
Or he was trying to bait the homeowner into opening the door, where he then planned to do who knows Beat what. Beat him with that club? The voice here being a concerned neighbor that saw what he was doing. Either way, the man most likely did not have the best intentions. No, I don't think so. Hey, let me know if y'all enjoy those kind of videos, man. And, uh, we got more videos on the way. I'm doing my thing. I'm, dr I'm bringing these things out like hotcakes. And until next time, turn me up. Don't no, turn me down, let